Welcome to ExpertDoc SmartFlows. My name is Eric Pot. Today we'll have a look at the ExpertDoc connector in Power Automate. In our example, I'll run a SmartFlow to generate a document. It will also start a Power Automate flow that will write that document to OneDrive. In my previous video, I started my first Power Automate flow from SmartFlows by using an HTTP request. I posted the quote ID to update the quote record in C CRM. Today I will post the document and the document name so that we can use that in Power Automate. I'll post the document and the document name. I'll use this on my clipboard because I might need that later. First, let's pick up the document and the document name from our flow. I'll pick up the generated document and the document name and save my flow. Let's move to my flow in Power Automate. In my previous example, we updated the quote ID or the quote record using the quote ID. I'll remove that step for now. And I will update the payload. Now let's add an expert doc step. Here we have the expert doc connector. You can use this for picking up a document from SmartFlows or start a SmartFlow from Power Automate. Today I'll use the download document action. When I open this for the first time, I have to create a connection. We'll pick up the project URL and we need to create an API key in SmartFlows. For that, I'll move back quickly to SmartFlows, into Control Panel, into users and I'll pick a user to create an API key for. Usually I use a service account but any admin account will do. Copy this to your clipboard. You might want to keep that for later. Then back in our flow, we can use our API key to create a connection. Now let's configure the download document step. We'll pass the document from the HTTP trigger. So now we can use that document in our flow. I'll add a new step. Then loads of actions are available. I'll use OneDrive today. In OneDrive, I will create a file. And I'll write that file to the root of my OneDrive. The file name I can pick up from my HTTP trigger. And the file content from the download document step from the expert or connector. Now we can save this. We might have to update the name of our flow.
we can now test this, but I'll just run my flow from CRM. It will retrieve the data, generate a document, place the HTTP request, and that returns a 202. That's okay. Now let's open OneDrive. And there's my file. It has one issue though. The document name coming from the flow is missing the extension. If I switch to my smart flow, I can see that the quote document here is missing the extension. It is not passed to the HTTP trigger. Quick and dirty solution here is to add the extension to your payload. So I'll run my flow one more time. Returns to 202, that's okay. Switch to OneDrive. I'll refresh this. And now I have a proper PDF document in OneDrive. We'll come up with a more elegant solution in the next release of smart flows for the issue with the file extension. Well, this was fun, but my next video is waiting. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.